All right, so this is gonna be kind of a, the way I like to enter into the tripod guard and kind of working control on the bicep, some details on how I like to keep my foot on the bicep, even when I don't have a sleeve grip on him, on him at this point here. Um, a lot of people, when they go from closed guard into the, the tripod guard, you know, they'll get a sleeve grip and, and a lapel grip, and this foot, you know, they'll, they'll turn to the side a little bit, this knee will come in, but this foot, this leg will come to the outside of this arm. And I'm really, um, to this side of his body, this, I never like to have the, the inside of my thigh exposed to the ceiling in an open guard. Um, you think you have some kind of sweeps here, but you've really given your opponent a chance yeah, to control the inside of your thigh. And if he can get that pinned to the mat at this point, now you're working defense and you have to mitigate this, this issue. So I never want to give him that, that window of opportunity. When I go into this tripod guard, I like to stay to the inside, especially on, on the leg that's going to be, if I'm up at an angle, the leg that's going to be across his body. So I'll get, you know, take your time, get good grips if your opponent's not moving. All right, so I have my nice grip. If you can flip the, flip the sleeve here. If you can't, whatever. But the point is, when I go from close guard to open guard, both feet come to his hips, and I'm on the inside on both. All right, and I have a little bit of tension here. So he never, he doesn't have an opportunity to get my thigh at this point and pin it to the mat. All right, now I'm gonna come up over my elbow, and I want my upper arm to be vertical. All right, I don't want to lean too far over, over like this uh, because then my elbow can kind of pull out still. So I'm going to be nice and vertical. This I got from Coyotera. It's like you want your shoulder in front of your elbow down low here. But it's important that a lot of people overlook having your, your upper arm vertical. All right. So once I'm like this, uh, I'm onto the inside. I'm going to, as I let this loosen, I'm going to just drive off his hips and push back a little bit. All right, trying to keep my elbow behind my shoulder the whole time. So really I've gotten to the tripod position now and never gave him the opportunity for his hand to get near the inside of my thigh, okay? So from here, when you're starting to work some kind of offense, he might be trying to do something with his hand here, beat, beating this, and you're, you're gonna be pummeling, maybe you pummel with your, your, your shin. Um, I don't really necessarily like to do this. It kind of gives him an open, uh, yeah, open lane to start into that sort of underpass. But uh, you'll be pummeling trying to get your foot onto his bicep. Right? A lot of people feel like whenever they put the foot on the bicep that they need to have this sleeve grip. Um, and I really like to do the foot on the bicep without any control of the sleeve at all right here. Just like this, keep my elbow back and uh, as he moves his arm up and down trying to trying to beat my, my arm. Let's move this way so we can kind of look at this side now. Hang this way. Okay. Don't sit up too high on me. Okay. So what I'm doing here is to prevent him from, from pump circling on there and beating my foot is a few things. One is my toe is going to curl over the top of his bicep right here, so he can't go up over too easily. All right? The next thing I'm going to do is kind of like if you, if you ever did horseback riding or anything, is you're going to keep your, your toes up and they talk about putting your heels down in the stirrup. All right? So that's what I want to do. So you can think of it as, as either way, as keeping your toes up, but you really want to get your, your heel down. All right, now, if I'm sitting square to him, and he brings his arm down low, he has a little opportunity to pummel at this point. But the problem with, the reason for that is that when he brings his arm low, your foot is no longer perpendicular to his upper arm. So, whatever angle his upper arm is, I want to be able to keep my foot perpendicular to that. So as his upper arm comes down, I want to curve my foot this way, okay? The next thing that I want to do is that I want to keep his, I, I want to get rid of this opportunity for him to circle in right here at the end. And right here, this little curve where my Achilles heel is, kind of fits against the curve of his rib. So I want to push his arm slightly back and put my Achilles against his rib cage right there. So you can see as his arm's moving up and down, my foot is staying perpendicular to his upper arm and pushing my, my Achilles against his rib cage when it comes all the way down. And that kind of prevents him from from being able to get it. So as he tries to move up and down, just like that. Now if his arm goes, if he brings his elbow too far back, at this point, well, at some point he's gonna be able to, you know, it's gonna be difficult for you to keep your foot. But if his shoulders are really turned like that, you should be having your opportunities to attack here, whether you're gonna be getting a triangle. His body's so far up high on me that maybe it's not a triangle opportunity, but you should be able to go right into a flower sweep or something like that. And you've got, you know, you've got your arm bars right there too at that point. 
Um, so that's my basics of control, is, is the way I keep my foot perpendicular to his upper arm and putting my Achilles against his rib cage. Thanks.